Hello and welcome to the second episode of Revisiting Epcot. This is a series in which uh, I basically pick a attraction from Epcot and I just talk a little bit about, uh, in a completely subjective manner, what I sort of think Disney could do to make it a little bit better. Uh, I feel like the rides are really enjoyable, but there's always room for improvement. People ask me, what would you do to change this? What would you do to make that better? So today we're going to take a look at the universe of energy in Future World. Uh, if you want to know more about the history of the universe of energy, I I have a video up that uh, talks about the history of it and what it is now, but let's talk a little bit about what it could be. So the universe of energy being this slow ride, I feel like um, needs to embrace that aspect of it and sort of um, use that to make it uh, something memorable. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk about what can be done in a crazy way and just like knock the whole building down and build a roller coaster, like, because that's not very realistic. How can we keep the building, keep the theme and the style, and yet still make it better? And I think the main way to do it is to turn all of this into uh, what the ride's greatest asset is, which is that super widescreen um, visual effect heavy movie. You know, it's a 40-minute ride, and that's sort of uh, due to the fact that there's a pre-show video, and then there's a uh, video at the beginning of the actual show, and then you ride through this little slow ride. You see a couple of animatronics of dinosaurs, and then there's a post-show video, and all of it comes together, and you get nearly a 40-minute ride. So why not? This is what I think should happen. I think they should clear out most of that animatronic stuff as the ride's going through, replace it with massive, massive screens. And I don't just mean like straight screens, just like a 16 by nine square here and one over there, but like make, how about like a curving banner that runs along the whole path that the ride vehicle takes that is a movie and just turn the entire attraction into essentially a, you know, long film that takes place while you're riding this ride, uh, all about energy, maybe throw in some like little details and animatronics towards the bottom of the area, but for the most part, put the focus on just this large screen, you know, super effects heavy film about energy. I think what's great about uh, Ellen's Energy Adventure right now is that it talks about the history of energy, what energy is and where it comes from and why it's so important in society and why we have to keep looking for new ways to harness it. Um, and I think you could do that in maybe half the time, make it a 20 minute attraction instead of a 40 minute of attraction, just by cutting down the speed of, you know, the uh, pre-show and then that video at the beginning, put, you know, part of the video on that like long wavy screen that you'd have through the ride area and then have that post-show just sort of truncated a little bit so it's shorter and, and grabs people's attention more. As for like who would be in it, that's like a really interesting question because uh, you have Bill Nye right now as well as Ellen DeGeneres and what's interesting is they're still pretty relevant. Um, you know, Ellen at the time was relevant because of her show, uh, which was like a sitcom, and now she's still relevant because she's got her talk show. So I think like having somebody like Ellen would actually be fine. Even if you like you redid the whole video and you kept her around, that'd be great. Bill Nye uh, is funny because he still seems to be extremely popular despite the fact that I don't think his show is still as popular today as it was maybe like 10 or 15 years ago when I was a kid and I loved Bill Nye the Science Guy. Um, but if you wanted like examples of people that you can get, like think about involving the Mythbusters. You know, there's a great way. That's a show that has like this great way of making a fun time out of learning about science and how things work. So maybe if you got the Mythbusters uh, guys into this somehow and, you know, you had them involved talking about energy um, or you get a, another scientist who I think is really be gaining a lot of popularity over the past couple of years um, is Neil deGrasse Tyson because he's just got a fantastic way of taking something that could be really complicated in scientific terms and make it easy for a non-scientist to understand. So, like, get some new faces, make a whole new film, and because the ride doesn't have to change much in terms of, you know, the vehicles or the speed or the infrastructure, um, put all of that money into just making the best film that you can make best effects i mean you own uh they own lucasfilm now which means i assume they own um uh 
not only LucasArts, but uh, Industrial Light and Magic. Sorry, I was blanking there for a second. But if you own ILM, that's like such a powerhouse when it comes to special effects. You get some amazing special effects, especially, you know, things that would take the Big Bang from the Ellen's Energy Adventure and make it look like nothing. And like I said, where these dinosaurs are showing up, replace a smooth, curving, massive screen and have this movie playing alongside these cars as they're moving through the ride and just use it to teach people about energy. Uh, definitely update the content. You know, I think we had a different outlook on energy even 15 years ago as compared to today. I think today the public uh, outlook is that we need to look for renewable energy or cleaner energy. And I think you could have a film that sort of reflects that. Uh, and reflects any developments we've made since then. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick look at what I think you can do with Ellen's Energy Adventure. Keep the building, keep the, you know, the theme of energy that's super important for the future. Just take all this dinosaur stuff out, replace it with big screens, you know, and really put all that power and effort into making just a film that would wow somebody and entertain people and at the same time teach them about energy and have it play as they're riding through and uh, I think that could really give a new set of legs to an attraction that's been here for a long time and could really refocus it and make it more of what I think Epcot was originally supposed to be which is intellectually exciting um, not physically exciting we don't need to replace this with something like Soren or Mission Space that tries to be a thrill ride it needs to entertain and teach and make us think about the future because that's exactly what Epcot's all about, and uh, I would love to see something like this happen in the future. In any case, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is 100% subjective, 100% my opinion. None of this reflects like what Disney's planning to do, what they might do. Um, it's just basically what I think they should do. I totally invite you to throw your opinions into the hat. What would you like to see happen with this attraction in the near future? Whether it's extreme and it's removing it and putting something wholly new or just changing a minor little detail. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, have a great week. Whatever you're doing, make the most of it. And I hope to see you all here next time for the next Minecraft Disney Revisiting Epcot. Bye, everybody.